I'd like to welcome all of you all to our official groundbreaking of our new BMW facility. This is an exciting time for, for everyone here that works at Century, uh, but also an exciting time for our, our city. As Mayor Battle and Chip Cherry know, we, you know, we all have options on what we, where we want to do business and, and where we want to employ people and pay our tax dollars. And, George and Mr. Shields and myself made a concerted effort that we wanted it to be here in the city of Huntsville where we've had great run, great success from my father starting Royal Chevrolet back in 64, 5, something like that. And, um, and then moving down here in 1981, we opened, um, brought our BMW franchise down here and we're selling two and three a month with a service advisor that sat on his stool and smoked cigarettes all day and said, can I help you? I don't know what these things do, but we can fix them. That's about the way we sold them and the way they, way they ran. Good old Ed Harbin. May he rest in peace. So now we are going from the little two, three car a month uh, dealership to 40,000 square foot BMW standalone facility on five and a half acres here in the city of Huntsville. And um, I would really like to thank Mayor Battle for helping us make this happen and deal with ALDOT issues and make it as painless as we could. And your department, your city has worked, worked very, very well with our contractors, our architects, and navigating the ALDOT. That just doesn't happen in any city. And I, I'd like everyone here to recognize that. I want you to know we all recognize that. Thank you so much, Mayor Battle. Absolutely. Chamber of Commerce President Chip Cherry and Chip he is a, a most of you all don't know him like you see from Mayor Battle all the time but he is really really instrumental in making Huntsville just the engine that it is all the new jobs coming to Huntsville all the new businesses the new things going on I mean he, he, he shows us things in, in various meetings we have and he says we don't like to toot our horn too big because Birmingham's mad at us, Mobile's mad at us, Montgomery, because we're like the kid that does everything right up here in Huntsville. And that's thanks to your leadership, Chip, and we're very excited to be here in Huntsville in this growing city. So thank you very much. I'd also like to recognize our architect who has built and rebuilt and rebuilt again. Uh, how many dealerships over here? Six franchises on 7.43 acres. There's probably been, I think, 11 that have come through there. Some of them work, some of them not. Uh, I, was, I was drawing one that was going to be built out here somewhere. <laughs> Your Royal Chevrolet was going to move when you bought the right. Buick franchise. Yeah, and, yeah and, and, and I mean, you you really know where all the skeletons are, <laughs> the little walkways, and how we've made these buildings come together. So you know the history on this place. This had to be fun, starting this from scratch and getting having a blank sheet of paper. And do you want to just briefly tell what is it? Forty thousand square feet. It's kind of a minimalistic BMW it architecture. Is. Tried to pattern, I guess, the new look after some of the German architecture in the '30s and '40s, actually. So. Uh, it's a difficult building to build to make it look like that, but uh, it's been interesting. It's been a lot of fun, and it is a large building. We've got doubling the amount of service bays you've got. Uh, we've got about 20,000 20, square feet of showroom and offices, another 20-some of parts and, and service, so it's quite an improvement. It's going to be exciting. We're going from 14 BMW service base to 33 back here, all state-of-the-art, air-conditioned shop, all that great stuff. So uh, if you know anybody that's even considering buying anything else or other than BMW, services or car anywhere else but here, send them our way. we got to fill those 33 bags. So. And um, I'd like to introduce our contractor. We, again, had choices in who we wanted to build our building. And Reeves Construction, I know that they're out of Birmingham, they're not out of Huntsville, and I've had to defend that a few times. But they have built a few BMW buildings in their in their tenure, and, and they, they know how to build BMW buildings. And we don't know how to do this. We didn't want to spend a lot of time on it, so we went right to the experts, the guys that do it. BMW recommended that we use Reeves. And we are so happy to have Hastings Sykes, who's our contractor, guy on charge, in charge, the guy that's going to make this happen. 
but Dale back here with the sunglasses is the, is the one that's really going to make this happen. So, Dale, we've been a pleasure working with you, and, and I'm glad you're here. Hastings, just a great relationship. Anything you want to do? So good. Well, we appreciate the opportunity. Obviously, you've worked for Century, and it's great to work with David. I know he's done a lot of work for you. We've done a lot of work with him over the years, and we're very proud to be back in the city of Huntsville building again. And certainly appreciate the opportunity to work with you on Century BMW and Century Automotive. And you can see all the Easter egg different colors we've got out there for these, this layout. That goes to what David was talking about, the minimalistic look. It's very complex, actually. Each one of those different colors represents an offset and the layout. So it's a pretty complex building, even though it looks minimalistic, and that's done intentionally. And that's a credit to, to David and his design and making this work. Again, we very much appreciate the opportunity to be a part of it. I'm still waiting on him to say on time under budget. Is that is that part of the deal too, Hastings? In, in front of everybody here, when are we moving in, Hastings, so I can get it recorded? And yeah. Live, uh, Jason, you may want to get a shot. Of what year? <laughs> what year? This year. Before Christmas of this year. Yes. And most important, importantly, really, the guys that have to pay for this building, and I'd like to introduce you to our team. Juan Valinsky is our general sales manager. Chris Cooley is our new car BMW manager. Oren Biggers is our CPO BMW manager. Tom Byrne is our service director. I'm sorry. Stan Zangle is our BMW service, service manager. David Wilhelm, amongst a lot of other things, you are our BMW parts director. Do I have everybody on the BMW team? You're going to be the up. Where's Dave? There you go. Dave's going to be the up and I manager. But anyways, when I say I have to figure out how to build this, how to pay for this thing, we build this beautiful building, and you build, if you believe if you build it, they will come, and, and, and we believe that, and our team is ready to step up to the occasion, and we're going we're gonna to make this, we're going to make this thing happen, and make it be exciting. We wish we'd done this years before. Last but not least, I'd like to introduce my father, who is the uh, majority shareholder of our dealership. He lets me get all the glory, but he's really the man, man that started it all, and the one that's. Here to hopefully pay all the bills if we can. I'm teasing, I'm teasing but he's here to he's here to uh, to see. You know, it's kind of an exciting thing for him in his career too to make to watch this thing happen. Just get it. I said, we don't want to sell one too much. Just get it. And I think it's our fourth building. So this is really the, the backbone of our real dealership is actually right here at BMW. So it's been a long way. And I just say it to you. I just hope, thinking this fourth building and how many mortgages that we have burned, I'm hoping I'm going to be here 20 years from now when we burn this. <laughs> We're counting on that. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a leap of faith for us, certainly in the community. Mayor, thank you so much for what you do and, and for being with us today. Uh, it means a lot to people. We've worked hard. Our whole team has earned this recognition. It's obviously, this is more than recognition. It's a whole lot more. It's a lot of brick and mortar, and it, it is a leap of faith. We're glad to do it. We're very proud of it. And our great leader here, George and Tracy, those two have done a great job and made life very easy for me. And I have so many people say, well, what are you doing in town? You're working, aren't you? I said, no. Well, I guess you're checking on them. I said, no. <laughs> no, I don't check on them. I said, I just kind of like to bask in their glory a little bit, you know, and just kind of come in here. And I learned one thing a long time ago, and I try to encourage a lot of my friends to do this. When you find out that your kids are a lot smarter than you are, the best thing to do is get out of the way. And I've been out about 30 years. So I don't know anybody else has something to say. I think you said it all. I think you said it all. We got the floor if you'd like it. Listen, we're just glad to have y'all. You know, Hustle's about partnerships. So we have partners in uh, economic development with Chip Cherry. We have partners out there who are builders, and we're glad to have Birmingham builders come up here and pay privilege license and uh, business license. <laughs> but we're also proud of the partnership we've had here for years and years and years. This place has provided a service to community, but it's also provided a revenue to the city kept this city going. So y'all have been a great partner with us and we look forward to the future of this partnership too. Congratulations. Thank you, Thank Thank you so much. much.
I guess we do the shovels. Is this how we do now? Get on with it. Thank y'all so 